Students are generally getting a question that how do I manage school, how do I manage coaching, and how do I manage everything? Students, Keshu, school, school. Do you want to go to school? No. So go. Right. So usually, usually I get a message from all the students saying that, sir, how do I manage school? How do I? How can I manage my coaching and neat examination? Now, students, the first thing which I want all of you to understand here is this is a very formal talk. I just want to have a talk to all of you, and I hope this video is helpful to all of you. And uh, if you're a, if this video is going to be helpful to all of you, please smash the like button right now. Now, students, uh, understand the first thing which all of you need to understand is what is your goal right now? If you're in class 11th, you should focus on neat because class 11th, you do not have a tension of board examination. Yes or no? But if you're in class 12th, you have to worry about board also a little. So balance should be there. So understand your goal right now. Yes, it is okay to get 80% in 12th until and unless you clear neat examination. So that plays a very, very major role in the entire thing. Now, now, second thing, very important, right? You need to find a balance between the entire school and college and need coaching and everything. Now, what do I mean by balance? Let's say in my DNA batch, I am teaching, let's say, a chapter called as your anatomy of flowering plants and try to manage the same anatomy of flowering plant in your school also. So that pace can be matched. Or let's say on YouTube, I recently finished principles of inheritance and variation. Now, let's say in your coaching also, the same thing is going on or in your school, also, same thing is going on. So always try to find a common point. Like there's a common point where everything is balanced and everything's in the same track. I know it's going to be very difficult, but just try to find that sweet spot. Try to overlay your school topics and coaching topics and need everything at once. So that if the balance is maintained, it is going to be very easy for all of you to overlap everything. That's what it is. Next thing is called as, um, what do I do is, especially if you are in school, use school as a warm up exercise. Now, all of you know, school is generally very slow. So what you need to do is use school as a starting information. And once you finish the starting information from school, use it in the coaching. Now, one more technique which I use for warm up is all of you might have I've all told, but I've told you always, right? I use this flashcards, right? Now, this is the flashcard which I have here. Now, I use this as a warm up before I start even the class also. So that warm is very important. So you can use school as a warm up for your need coaching. So basically, what I'm telling you is take <coughs> school as a warm up, use it in your need coaching. Now, so the next is MCQ practice. Now, usually school will never give you MCQ practice. Unless it's one more question. Usually, school never gives MCQ practice. So you should always make a habit of, if you're aiming for neat examination, always keep that MCQ part after every single chapter. Solve PYQs, solve DPPs, whatever it is. Right? In Telegram, you can find DPPs also. So try doing that. So first was students, first was your understand your goal. Second was students, your balance of school and college and neat examination. Third is the warm up, and the fourth point is your entire MCQ practice. So keep an MCQ, MCQ practice on the point all the time, students. Now, this was personally told to one of my students. Right? He told me, Sir, in school generally I have the FA1, FSA1, unit test 1, unit, unit test 2. I use unit test as a mock test, he said, for neat examination. I'm like, wow, that is actually really cool. You can use your entire school curriculum as a mock test. School, whatever happens, test happens, wrong. That is a mock test, mock test, mock test. So even though if you start neat mock test at the end of your, let's say in January, February, March, April, you can start using school test as a mock test itself. Now, one more thing is very important is your revision. Now, the best way to revise is the time when you get holidays, let's say Sunday. Keep it for exam and revision. So it's obviously very difficult to manage both. So the Sunday is a day where you can place everything back together. So use Sunday very, very carefully or any holidays. Let's say August 15th is coming, right? That day is a holiday. So try to clear a backlog. And if you check on the YouTube channel, every single chapter is almost covered there. So check YouTube for entire thing also. So you can manage very easily, right? Now students, next thing is try to use less books as possible. This happens, right? See, for boards and in neat examination, chemistry and biology, NCRT is more than enough. Now, apart from NCRT, Tatva is really, really good. Or if you have any MDG book or anything, really good, really good books, right? But try to keep it as less book as possible. Don't take a lot of books and make it so complicated that you can't do anything later on. So keep it as, as minimum as possible, less stressful as possible. Now, so the next is, do not get lost in coaching base. This happens a lot. Let's say in coaching, 
they are finishing around seven to eight chapters by the end of August in one subject. If you are a class 12 student, you need to take slow little because class 12, you need to mug up a lot of information, but do not get lost in that pace of high pace of coaching because coaching is like this on point. All information is given to you. So do not get lost in that entire pacing of coaching. The students, so these are the following points, how you can manage school and need the whole best advice I can give you students is have a proper common timetable where all the topics are overlapping. Always use school as a trial for your NEET examination. Common books are there. Use your warm up exercise, I told you, right? And use the holidays very well. Because generally, what happens is that some topic is taught in school, you will be like, I will study it in coaching. But when the same topic is taught in coaching, you will be like, I will study it in the school. But you end up not studying anywhere. So do not make that happen. Always have a proper balance and know your goal at the end. Friends, I hope this video was helpful to all of you. So quickly smash your like button and let me know in the comment section which video which you want me to talk about like this. Okay, friends. So bye bye, all of you. I'll see you in the next class of mine.